Hi everyone, your clocks are finally shipping. They've arrived and there's a little bit of final assembly left to do. I'm going to walk you through how to take the accessories bag and complete final assembly on your clocks. All you're going to need is a small Phillips screwdriver to take the back case off and then we will be off to the races. I've gone and spread everything out here. There is the switch cable, the switch, the switch cover, the dimmer. If you ordered a non-backlit clock, this is the one piece you won't see. Uh, power cord, grommet, and power supply. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this topmost nut off the switch, leaving the hex nut behind, and I will set this aside. Then the switch cable simply slides onto the switch. Doesn't matter which direction it goes, uh, polarity does not matter like so. Then the switch slides into the housing. It only slides in in one direction. Uh, we slide the switch cover on after opening it, place it like so, and then the nut falls into place and we tighten it. So we follow a similar series of steps for the dimmer switch. Again, if you have a non-backlit clock, you don't have this part, uh, and install it into the case in a similar fashion. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I've gone ahead and installed the dimmer switch. Uh, you can see it has four pins. When we actually go ahead to make the connections in the next step, we're only going to use the middle two of those four pins to plug in. Alright, we're just about ready to make final electrical connections. Uh, the switch is going to plug into the spot marked switch. It is just this plug on the right. Uh, only goes in one direction. Hang on a second. So the switch plugs in down here and should snap into place. And then the final connection we make is with the dimmer cable, again, just to the middle two pins. And then we are ready to plug in the USB cord. So there's a small grommet that I slid onto the USB cord. There should be a small split in your grommet. If there's not, go ahead and cut it. And then the USB cord just plugs into the clock down here. I've gone ahead and I've fed the grommet into the groove on the back and now you are ready to close up your back case and put the screws in. So by now your clock should be assembled. Uh, all that's left is to take the power supply, plug it in, and turn it on.